So the other day I was watching Upwork's video about their fall updates. Somewhere in there they mentioned that they actually look at Reddit when finding things to fix on the platform or things to add on the platform, which I found pretty cool. And so that gave me an idea. I'm actually following the r slash Upwork Reddit. So I thought, why not make a video about it reacting to some of the posts because I haven't been very active in there lately. So let's look at what gems we can find. I almost forgot to record my screen, which would have been a pain. First thing we see right here, we're not even in the subreddit yet. It says, Upwork's going downhill fast one day ago. Sharing my stats to prove it. Oh no. Hi everyone, this certainly isn't the first time I've voiced my concerns here about Upwork. Has been getting super slow this year. Can vouch for that, it's been crazy. For context, I'm top rated plus, 100% JSS, 100k plus burn, branding and packaging designer. Used to receive tons of invites every week. Me too, I used to get like two a day, and now one or two a week. I'll share my stats to prove it. It gradually went from 29 invites in January, which is already bad compared to last year, to only five invites in October. Yeah, that sucks. Same goes for profile views, it went from 200 in January, peaking at 268 in April to 41 in October. So my question is, what is going on? Okay, I'm actually going to write my opinion real quick. So just give me a second. Posted, and let's see. First thing I see is, is this a scam? Complete upper scam vibe. Scam guide, I'm sorry. And this is actually pinned to the top, and I've actually seen this before, I wanted to show you. It's kind of a guide on scams. I've talked about a lot, but the main red flags are client asks to chat outside the platform before signing a contract. So if you don't know, after you have the contract going on on Upwork, you can chat over email or whatever is best for you. But before, you can't. It's against the terms of service. Typically, scammers tend to ask for this because Upwork can do shit about it. If a client asks you to chat outside the platform, I typically say, let them know it's against terms of service. If they insist, it's likely a scam. And typically, they go for Telegram or I've seen WhatsApp as well or Skype, but that's not as common anymore. Second red flag is the client says he's going to pay you with checks. I, I don't even want to get started with that. Don't do it. The check will be fake. You'll end up sending your real money to the client before you realize that the check bounced. So don't do it ever. Next up, the client wants you to buy crypto. Don't get into that. The client wants you to buy a premium ID card. These are typically 50 bucks and they're scams. I've done a video on that. I'll link it right there in the corner. If you want to see how that works and what happens if you reply to a scammer, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. If you're still on the fence, comment below. I or someone else will help you out, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Five hours ago, I'm sure experts will jump at this competitive offer. All right, competitive salary, five to $10 an hour for an expert. I see this one way too often. My question is, does the client notice that they're doing it? Are they a piece of shit or are they just shooting their shot? You know, they may have more budget than that, but they just are trying or they have that preconceived notion that Upwork is cheap work. I, I don't know, but I don't like it. Moving on. Good for you, Pepsi. Okay, this person found Pepsi hiring on Upwork. Apparently, 100% higher rate. We love seeing that. Please, now more than ever, check the higher rate when you're applying to a job. Especially if you look at your stats and you see that not a lot of people are viewing your proposal. So the problem is not that they're not responding, it's that they're not viewing. That's likely clients that are just cut off from the platform. I typically say they may be posted on different places. They hire someone elsewhere or they gave up on hiring for the job altogether. I've seen people with like 300 jobs and 1% hire rate. So don't, don't apply to that piece of crap. I would say at the very least you want 50%. My upper friend. So this is a tweet, I think, from Adam Palmer, which is another creator here on YouTube that does videos about Upwork. So this is about Upwork stock. 
I actually had a notification earlier today that it was up. Didn't know it was that much up, but okay. How are your daily profile views looking? Again, another person. Whoa, this is a big dip, but this is in a week. Let's see what other people are saying. I'm almost not getting any views or invitations, even though I'm top rated plus with 100% job success score. Views don't exceed 10. Oh my God. Let's actually look at mine real quick. And if you don't know how to find us, I'll quickly show you. So you come right here to your profile picture, stats and trends, and you'll want to scroll down. So I have 61, so it's not 10, but it's not 100. Let's react to a couple more. Is a perk your main income? Yes, it is. And I'm trying to react to stuff with pictures. This one, be careful out there. People are crazy. It sounds like all those years of work serve only to turn you into a shitty person who wants to insult and take advantage of hard work single mother. What? Is this like a client replying to someone? Oh my god. No way. No way. Upwork's going downhill fast. Yeah, Upwork's not looking great. I, I should do a video sometime soon about alternatives. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Taking my client out to platform after two years. If you don't know, if you wait two years, you can take your clients out the platform. Before that, you can't. Some clients use Upwork to get traffic to their website. Why doesn't this surprise me anymore? Your payments are not safe on Upwork. Oh shit. Okay, I don't even want to go into that. That scares me. Seems like there are some fake Facebook ad scams going around. I'm guessing this is one of those offers that people send you that are like scams. How is it possible to have 33% with only one job and has five star rating? I mean, I think the job success score, don't call me on that. It has something to do with the client's private feedback to you. Did you have other jobs that fell through? I have a shit ton of questions about this. I made a job alert spot for upper freelancers. Oh, hey. Oh, this is actually, this is an ad, but it's a relevant one. Good job. Hey, I think that should be about it for this video. Basically, Upwork is going downhill. And if you want me to do a video on alternatives, I'm already working on it. So please let me know that you want to see it because I'll probably post it either way. What's been your experience with Upwork? Let me know. Let me know if you have any questions. If you're unsure something is a scam, ask a friend. Don't give anyone any money. And in the meantime, check out my scam playlist. It can help you a lot. Better assistance, sorry. And I'll see you guys next time.